Hey, it's Tom from Texas and it's time for another floppy deep dive and today we are going to be doing another version of what's on that floppy and I've got about I believe seven games on this floppy that we're going to be checking out and some good games some classics some I don't think you've ever heard of uh, like one of my subscribers said doesn't matter if they're bad or good it's just cool going back in time looking at and seeing these different games that are on these floppies everyone seems to be enjoying these and I'm enjoying making them so I'm just going to continue going through my list going through the case of floppies and so let's grab a chair pull up a joystick and let's get started so on today's what's on that floppy we're going to be looking at seven games and i thought it'd be cool to throw all seven up here on the screen at the same time just to give you an overview of what we're going to be looking at and diving into first one we're going to be looking at is paperboy second is epics wrestling third is humanoids next is tag team wrestling then it's street surfer ball and chain and show jumper so Let's go ahead and dive into these one by one. So the first game we're going to look at is Paperboy. And Paperboy was released in 1986 and it came out pretty much on every system. And of course the arcade is where I first saw it before I played this game. But on the Commodore it actually is pretty good. Uh, I think they did a pretty good job on it and I played it quite a bit when I was a kid. Uh, being able to play it and not have to spend quarters at the arcade to be able to play it but one of just a classic you got all these obstacles you got to deliver the papers to the to the right houses and you got to make it through the week and if you make it through all the way through Sunday you actually get your uh, the reward is you get a headline in the newspaper that you made it all the way through and uh, it's its control is pretty good. The graphics were pretty good at the time. Um, I think everybody has played this one time or another. I was much better at it when I was a kid than I am now when I was trying to play it. I uh, kept crashing into the stupid curb and trying to pick up newspapers and so forth. But just love this game. Thought it always was uh, uh, just really creative back in that time. There wasn't anything like that. Um, until this game came along, loved the whole uh, how you travel up in a diagonal by, by the whole time where you're doing, never knowing if a car is coming at you or what's going to pop out. So, uh, Paperboy, I give two thumbs up. I just love that game and love to hear y'all's thoughts on Paperboy and how much did y'all play it. So next, we're going to be looking at Epics Wrestling. And... Well, I always call it Epics Wrestling, but it's actually called Championship Wrestling by Epics. And this one here, the cracked version that I have, I don't think is the full version because once you, you, you go right into the wrestling and once it's done, it just it, it, the screen goes black. So once you get pinned, it's over. So I need to pick up a real full version of Championship Wrestling. Uh, and try it out because this is all I ever knew. The graphics are actually pretty good. The movement and the sound and just how it looks. You got your Hulk uh, Hogan type looking character and so forth. But it's just a lot of pushing the button and you know random gameplay where it just didn't get a lot of replay in my in my opinion. But I did, again, I didn't have the best version out there. But I give it okay. I give it a C, but uh, could be better. But I, like I said, the graphics really aren't that bad. And I uh, enjoyed the little bit that I did play it. So let's go on to the next one. So next I'm going to be looking at Humanoids. And Humans came out, I believe, in 1987. And this is in the future in 2850 AD and, and Captain Gyro is being held prisoner on a planet Volsol is how this works and he you got to find a way to be able to get there and rescue him and you got to go through all these different environments um, I never played this one till the end I probably haven't really played this one that much at all uh, it's definitely just an arcade shooter 2d scrolling type game um, and 
it, it's okay. The graphics are all right. I, I would say fun-wise, eh, it's okay too. Uh, again, they're not all uh, classics, but this one, you know, if you like these kind of games, you might like it. Was it my tech cup of tea? I would just say, uh, I would give it a thumbs up, but I just would say it's still just average. Maybe a C plus because of the graphics and so forth. So let's move on to the next game. So next we're going to be looking at Tag Team Wrestling. And Tag Team Wrestling was rela uh, released by Data East. And it came out in uh, 1983. It was released on the, uh, it was in the arcade obviously, but it came out to the Apple II, the Commodore 64, and on the NES. And this one, I actually enjoyed this wrestling better than the other wrestling. Uh, easy to play. I liked it. I remember playing it as a kid. I liked that you could do the tag team and touch to get the other one out to bring it in. I thought it was too easy. I thought uh, at least this version here to get through and win, uh, I could get through it pretty simple. It was pretty simple um, in going through all the different things. So, But I did like this one. I'd give this a B. Uh, enjoyed playing it. I would like to check out the other versions and so forth. In fact, I think I'm going to check out the arcade version uh, after I make this video just to see how that compares with it. But overall, like I said, B, give it a thumbs up. So next, let's look at Street Surfer. So Street Surfer came out in 1986 and it was released by Mastertronic. And it, it actually playable wise I enjoyed playing this one you're you're riding on your skateboard and cars around you and basically you're cleaning up the environment so you're picking up bottles and uh, there's cars that drive by and offer you a bottle and you can grab the bottle and drink it and on your skateboard somehow you get going as fast as cars so you can pick up the speed pretty good while you're going and then when you get at the end you recycle all your bottles and uh, for a small little program it actually controlled really well I enjoyed it I would I, the playability was good um, I liked it I give it a B plus it, it was one of my favorite ones uh, on this disc to play like I said it was gathering up things throwing them into the recycle stuff uh, and avoid cars get your speed up watch for potholes but but Overall, I give this, I enjoyed it. I give it a B plus. And did you play this one, or have you ever seen this uh, Street Surfer? So let's go on and move to the next one. So the next game that I have is called Ball and Chain, and that's how I knew it when I got it back in the day was Ball and Chain. But it's actually just a portion of a game that was ripped out of Night Games, which I did not know. Uh, at least at the time. I know it now, but it's just one of the fighting methods that you have in night games was ball and chain. And so what they did is they used ice pick and they ripped out just the ball and chain fighting. Everything else doesn't work for it besides just this event. And I like night games. Um, I'm not up to that one and my, I actually have the full version, but I just found it e interesting that, you know, some people would rip some stuff out of different games and call it, you know, give it its own name and uploaded it out to BBSs and then people download it and think it's just a separate game. But it's just a piece of the night games. But again, I enjoy it. You get to hit it. And, and like I said, I enjoy night games. So just found that interesting that they someone decided to rip that out. And now the last one is called Harvey Smith's Show Jumper. I have no idea who Harvey Smith is. I know he's some kind of equestrian that uh, I'm assuming uh, he's from Britain and, you know, with the intro screen, him and the British flag. I assume that y'all over there in England love to do show jumping. Um, not big over here. I've never seen one in person, seen it on TV. But basically, this game here is you're riding your horses and you got to go through uh, the different path that the courses that you can make. And you go through there and you got to jump the different items when you're going through the different courses. Um, the flow uh, wasn't bad. The horse riding and so forth looked pretty good. Uh, and But overall, it's not my kind of game. Uh, it's just... 
I, I've never really been into show jumping, but I did have the game and I thought it was interesting. Graphics weren't bad on it. Actually, uh, Rob Hubbard worked with the music on this game. Uh, this came out in 1985. It came out both on the Commodore 64 and the MSX. And it's just a good sports game uh, if, if you like this kind of stuff. So and overall, you know, I, I wouldn't play it over and over again, but I do remember trying it out back when I was a kid and trying to figure it out and where you could create your own courses and everything. So that's everything. Let's go ahead and wrap up this uh, floppy deep dive on what's on that floppy. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this edition of what's on that floppy and checking out these classic games. If you liked it, give me a big thumbs up. If you did it, you can put a thumbs down. Please put comments and anything about these games, memories, anything that you might have thought of while you were checking out this video. So until next time, thank you for joining me on another floppy deep dive. Yeah!